Well, we've been talking a lot about this staggering new statistic this morning. One, get this, one in four adults in New York State experience food insecurity. Yeah, the percentage for New York City is even higher with 39% of people in the Bronx itself reporting it. Yep. And more than 30% of adults in Brooklyn and Queens feeling the pressure of food insecurity. Joining us now is Dr. Kamisha Grant, the VP of Community Impact and Investment at Food Bank for New York City. Hi, Dr. Grant. Dr. Grant, when you see these kinds of numbers, what, what comes to mind? Good morning and thanks for having me. Uh, these numbers are staggering. Uh, here in New York City alone, 1.2 million New Yorkers struggle to afford food every year. And so Food Bank for New York City is at the forefront of hunger in our city. We, we work with over 800 partners across the five boroughs to be able to get emergency food out every day. Um, and the need is growing. Mm. And so we're really concerned about it. So when we say food insecurity, that means they don't know where their next meal is coming from. And so that is an insecure way of thinking thinking about where you're going to eat. And let's let's put up, because we have a graphic here to illustrate the conversation we're about to have. What are the consequences of being in this situation? Yeah, so food insecurity is exactly that. Uh, there are limited, ex limited resources, and uh, people who don't have enough money really are struggling to be able to afford adequate food for their families. And that's the key word. We want to make sure that every New Yorker has enough food to be able to survive. Um, some of the consequences that we know is that Insec food insecure New Yorkers are at higher risk of chronic health diseases. And so we're talking about very serious diseases, cancer, hypertension, diabetes, mm. um, coronary heart disease. And so it's really um, concerning because many New Yorkers who struggle to afford food are also struggling to connect to health insurance. And so that's really alarming. And Dr. Grant, we know some of this is, is what you can afford to buy, but some of it is your proximity to these things at all. If there aren't supermarkets near you, if there's only bodegas near you and you can't get a good supply of fresh food. You know, how do we solve this problem? It sounds like food banks trying to get in there and do that, but but how do those numbers are way too high. It is not acceptable in this country and certainly not in this wealthy of a city for us to have 30%, right? So how do we You're solve it? Right. How do we solve it? Yeah, so Food Bank for New York City is meeting the need where it is on the ground. We are doing that in a number of ways. I talked about working with our 800 partners across the five boroughs who are getting emergency food out every day. We have our trucks on the road that are driving food directly into the communities that need it most daily. We are also working with strategic partners like hospitals to be able to meet patient needs. And so when a patient comes into a hospital mm. setting, and they attest to food insecurity, uh, we want to make sure that they are able to get access to food right there so where they smart. need it. So smart. Yeah. Uh, Dr. Grant, um, I started my career in the South Bronx and um, it was almost 20 years ago. And we were talking about the high rates of obesity and diabetes and hypertension in the Bronx and efforts to counteract this and, and fix the problem. But it's been such a lot, like two decades later, and we're still mm. talking about this. Um, I know that some people have started their little community gardens trying to change some of this and the work that you guys have done. So amazing. But is there anything else? that we can do to try to change this, to get people interested and invested in these communities? Yes, thank you for that question. Um, you know, Food Bank of New York City, we prioritize fresh, healthy foods. And so we are getting fresh produce, fruits and vegetables out every day to New Yorkers in need. And so just it's really important to make sure that we're not only getting food out, but we're giving people food that really fuels their body, that provides that energy to uh, to them to be able to be good and, and have great um, outcomes. Uh, just to your question of what can New Yorkers do, um, Keep talking about this issue. Yeah. Advocate for it. Keep yeah. it yeah. in conversation. Talk to your neighbors. Uh, you know, another way that you can work to help Food Bank for New York City is to donate. There is mm. no amount that's too small. Um, every dollar helps us to afford five meals for a New Yorker in need. Um, and so we're really grateful for supporters, our supporters and partners. Um, and I think lastly, volunteer. Get involved. Oh, I like that. Uh, you know, we, we use volunteers to really be able to meet this need on the ground. And so you can go to our website, you can sign up and learn more about how to volunteer and really get involved with this fight. Oh, that's that's great. great. Thank you so much Amazing. for spending some time with us because we appreciate that conversation.